What's up everybody, Wolf and Max here, and welcome back to Alan Wake. I know it's been a while since the last episode came out. That's an understatement. It's been four months. Uh, I really need to stop disappearing as much as I have. Uh, I need to get a handle on it. Anyway, welcome back to Alan Wake. This is going to be a short 30 minute video because I'm kind of on a time crunch. But I wanted to record something again, and I thought Alan Wake would be good to pick up where we left off. And my wife isn't here today with me to record this. She probably won't be with me for the remainder of the recording session. With that out of the way, let's continue the game. Okay, uh, please tell me that you're going to be in the exact spot that I left you. Did something yes, all right. Yes, good. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. All right. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Oh, that's right. That's right. She's she's, she's scared of the dark. Like me. All right. Uh, options. Uh, audio. Let's turn the music volume down a little bit. That way you guys can hear me talk. We'll knock it down like that. Cinematic volume can be down like that. Alright, good. Alright, that sound that doesn't sound too bad. Are you right? sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, could I? Oh, I thought I was going to go for a swim. Awesome. Alright, baby. You ready for this? Let's keep going. Alright. Go to the cabin. Alright. Bird leg cabin. That's a nice view, though. I like that. That's, that's really cool. Alright. So we are on a vacation, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna go explore for a minute, babe. Honey, honey boo sugar plum. Ugh, I don't like that. Ugh. I'm gonna go explore. Do you want me to stay with you? I don't know if you want me to stay with you or not. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. I don't want to go inside yet. Alright, how about you stay there. I'll open the door when I'm done checking out this area. There's a cellar! Oh, I like that. Uh, I cannot... I like that he like braces himself to jump. You're alright with me, Alan. You're alright with me. Fuck birds. The oh, old generator had been connected to the power cable. Alright, let's get her started! Yeah! I did not know I was going to start a generator. Alright. It's been a long time since I played this game. Wow. What? Examine? What was I supposed to examine? I didn't even go inside the house! It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest oh. here, sleep here, and forget about my work. Aww, oh, look at I you guys. I be happy here. Aww. Um, this is a horror game. Alan, that you have found yourself in. So, you're not going to be happy here. I'm just going to go ahead and examine. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. I mean, I'm good. I'm all about, you know, that vacation, love, romance type, everything. And it is the first day on the... That is quite a fall. 
God, this is beautiful. And the, the generator just sounds... Well, I mean, it probably sounds like a generator. I've never really heard a generator going. Except for when the one at... Where I work... Kind of... Went all out of whack. <laughs> yeah! Park out! Oh, I was hoping to just, like, dive into the... Parkour! Here we go! Ugh. Hey, honey, did you see that? <laughs> fucking parkour expert! Alright. Alright, well, I think I'm done looking around. Oh, just fucking smash the door open, why don't you? Rude ass. Alright. China. A riding horse. A pantry. A futon. Alice? Honey? Alice? You okay? A shoebox filled oh. with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Okay. Well, I don't know who Thomas Zane is, but is she outside? Is she out on the... I don't like those birds. I'm not done yet, lady. I mean, woman? Uh, I'm gonna check out here. The dear fest guest, okay, radio. Just ran into one Birds of are famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones, caller. You're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. He's my favorite writer. <laughs> I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. Now, some music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. You shouldn't have gone in a diner. If you're as famous as Stephen King, dude, you don't want to go anywhere. Should have sent your wife in. I'm gonna go for a swim. God, this water looks terrifying. <laughs> F focus. The water was black. I couldn't help but imagine all sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. Um. Oh, I, I thought I was going to go for a swim for a second. Oh, one can only help. All right, upstairs we go. What's the... To calmly walk is control. That's actually very uncomfortable to do. Oh, she's got that. She's got great clothes on right now, probably. Oh, I hope so. All right, buddy, the doors up down here don't work. We're gonna go upstairs. All right. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's one of those. Cool. I'll play that game. No. Well, hello there. <laughs> I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. Um. Uh, okay. 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 Hey, look, it's July. Right, wait, wait. I want to take a look out the window. It is. Nice and peaceful and serene. I don't think it's gonna stay that way, Alan. I really don't. All right, here we go. Surprise! Aww. Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice. You hey. Everyone. Hey, keeps hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. Aww. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not. Oh. 
That Alan? no, that's not good. Alan! I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I you... knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. You're an asshole. <gasps> you really are. She wanted to do something nice for you, you schmuck. You fucking prick. Damn. And you know how she doesn't like the dark and the lights flickered out, you fucking asshole. Hey! Alice. See that? That's what happens when you're a fucker. Alice. Oh, now you're all concerned. She got you a gift. Dark. All the lights were out. Uh, see, I'll go say Alice. I'm Alice coming. All right. It's all right. I'm coming. Alice and Alan. What the fuck? Oh my god, the crows are trying to kill me. Fucking trust it. Shift run. I got you. Ah. Alice? Fucking crows. Oh my god. Alice? Oh no. Wow, you just you dove right in, man. I, I am proud of you. Okay, I take back calling you a fucker and everything. Okay. The drugs are wearing off. <sighs> Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Well, I still got another 20 minutes to go. You're a real piece of work, Alan. You know that? You're a real piece of work. I don't trust that. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book Heart brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. It wasn't really much of a fight and you just yelling at her, okay? That's not really a fight. You were just being a prick. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Well, it's not really, I mean... You literally just braced yourself. You could probably survive with a broken leg or two. Fucking. Ugh. Wait, did I get any manuscripts? Alright, uh, I'm gonna just. I'll just keep going. Oh, there goes the car. That's fucking perfect. All right, Alan. We got this. Just a, just a leisurely stroll through the woods. It's no big deal. I've probably been through worse. I don't want to go that way yet. I just, I just want to explore a little bit. All right, we'll run. A light, a light. Okay, cutscene. Yeah. Oh, someone there? No, nobody's there.
The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. Hmm. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an <coughs> axe murderer in the woods at night. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Um... We're suffering from amnesia and we're gonna fight an axe murderer. That's fucking awesome. Now, that should have been the first manuscript. Departure by Alan Wake. Alright. The man turned to face me. His face was right. covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. Yeah. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. I think it's cool that your name is Awake and you're saying, I'm awake right now, you know, it's just, it's just something cool, I guess. Alright. I don't have my flashlight anymore. Anybody there? Please. Uh, I've been in an accident. Fuck that. Fuck that, Wake. Fuck that. Uh, let's just go wandering up to these people and be like, oh, hey, hi. How you doing? My name is Sean. Oh, so. My name is Alan. And I just. Oh, no. 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 Oh, she's not. Ah! Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> All right, let's just let's just continue on again, I guess. Anybody I'm gonna get there? you. Please, I've been in an accident. It doesn't really qualify as an accident. I mean, I guess you have. Ah, why did you look at the sun or the moon? What, what the fuck is wrong with you? Stop it! Ugh. I the lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. No, 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 Alan, no. No, just... Just... Just stop for a second, man. Just... Am I gonna have to climb the tree? Uh, Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey, hey, you! Uh, hey, there's been an accident. I need help. Listen, That's it. I need to. Oh, um, cabins for rent in. Oh, oh hell, Carl Stucky. Carl, to beat you. Non-reservation. Reservation has required fair and square. Carl, fair and square. He killed somebody. Oh no! All right. Carl, I don't have my weapon anymore. Carl, I'm just gonna read this manuscript real quick. Lake fights the Taken with the, with light. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it oh. stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Okay. Okay. 
I need to look at options because I need to know if I actually do have my weapon or not. I don't have a flashlight right now. Alright. Oh god! Fuck it! No! No! Stop! Carl! Carl! Maybe you could knock it off for a minute? Carl! 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 The light! <laughs> Carl! I had to figure a way out of this. Any second, Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> oh! Oh, isn't that just wonderful? It's a lot of light for such a tiny flashlight. Hmm. Alright. That takes a lot of batteries. Or the Duracell? During your trying It's the latest thing. In use the phone number. Yes. Roman. Right ball sheriff station. Oh man. Oh. Hello? Hello? He took out the line. And keep those colossus. Carl. Oh. Okay. Oh, fuck it. What up? Oh God. Ah. Damn it. All right. Okay, I got this. I got this. Let me check to see if there was any transcripts over this way. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hoped Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. I don't think he was running that thing, dude. I really don't. <laughs> parkour. Oh nope, I cannot parkour over a railing. What? <laughs> the frame rate suck. Why frame rate? Why are you stuck? Alright, I'm pretty sure I took some damage from that electrical wiring. There were more of them. Oh my god, I just killed somebody! Oh god! Got you! I with a concussion. I uh. fired a gun outside the shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real. Oh my god. Sick. I like that. Yay. No. No. Hand painted no. Was revealed by no. The Someone no. had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Good. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, I could have just killed them with the light here. Yay, light. Alright. Continuing on. Kick it. Cool! The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. I understand, man. I understand. Sometimes there's just things that we, you know... It's rabbit season. It's rabbit season. What the fuck?! Bitch! Fuck! Dickhead! Damn! What's up this way? Manuscript? Manuscript. 
All right. Manuscript. Let's. So this is new. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Oh, that's, that's sweet. All right, you ready to go, Wake? Wake, you ready? I'm going to have to call the video short soon. First I have to get to a safe point. Ow! Oh, fucking fuck! Whoosh! Oh, 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 um. Lady! What the hell was that? That was a lady. The same lady that gave you the keys to that lake house. The same lady that showed up in the darkness when the light flickered out bef after you screamed at Alice. You, oh, I'm still mad at you. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. It's okay. I got you. I got you, Alan. Uh, you tell me that if I jump in the water, I die. Pretty sure that's what you're saying. See, sometimes the control wants the the mouse wants to move like decently, and then sometimes it just does not want to move at all. And then sometimes it's like. Hi, hello, my name is Alan Wake. Oh fuck, why did you fall in the goddamn river? Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Have to get to a save point. Lady, knock it off. Oh, that was Alice in the water, too. What the hell was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself. You fucking! <laughs> Alright! I believe that's... I believe this is a checkpoint anyway, which is good. Alright. That's going to be it for Alan Wake today. So Carl has been affected by whatever darkness is going on, I guess. If only we had gotten the key from him. If only we hadn't taken the key from that lady. You know, whatever. It's fine. Alan, I hate you. Every time you fall in the river, I kind of feel good about it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You need to find your wife and apologize to her. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe for more awesome content. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.